here is Matthew chapter 5, verse 45. Yahushua says there, supposedly, he says that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends the rain on the just and the unjust. Well, the reason I say supposedly is because uh, this particular section, Matthew 5, um, uh, is in what's called in a gap in the, the oldest manuscripts. And so my study buddy raises the issue, Daud Ray, he wants to know, hey, well, where did they get the verbiage that they filled in the gaps with? In other words, if we can't see it in the earliest manuscripts, um, getting it from the Latin Vulgate is not where, you know, where you would get it. And um, so we've been considering um, what the effect that has of this being in the gap. So I saw the, the answer to this in Leviticus chapter 26. Um, uh, this, this Matthew 5.45 makes it sound like there's equal treatment on the rain. However, that's not the case. Consider that Matthew 7.27 where it's written, And the rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. So the rain that falls on the end just has a different result. So look at... Uh, Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 3 through 5. Since I walk in you who is that to keep his commandments to do them. So that is the wise man that built his house on a rock, and when the floods came, it didn't, didn't affect the house. Yahuwah gives me rain in due season, and land yields are increased, and the trees of the field yield their fruit. So, so it's not like, oh, just everybody goes out there and plants and sows and reaps. Or plants and reaps, or sows and reaps, and then look at look at what the doer of the word gets. The threshing time reaches the vintage time. The vintage time reaches the stilling time. I eat my bread the full and dwell in the land securely. So there's for those of you who are looking for security, the security is in the doing of the word. Now look at Leviticus chapter twenty-six, verses eighteen and nineteen. And if in spite of all this, if I will not listen or be, be obedient to Yahuwah, then Yahuwah will chastise and discipline me seven times more for my transgressions, and Yahuwah will break and humble my pride and my power. So if you if you take pride in your power, you're going to, Yahuwah is going to humble you. Talking about on the conference call last night with Daoud, that uh, when when uh, Simon uh, Kepha, Kepha, Kephas, uh, he denied Yahushua three times uh, that he was about to get humbled. In other words, here he is thinking, "Well, I'm, you know, I got it all figured out," and and uh, he's about to be humbled in his pride and his power. And then we see the next thing is Yahuwah make his heavens iron, iron yielding no answer, no benefits, no rain, and his earth is sterile as brass. So, in other words, this is not uh, Matthew five forty five equal treatment for the just and the unjust. This is special treatment for the just, the, the, the doers of the word, and it's a special treatment for, for the unjust. And then my strength will be spent in vain, for my land will not yield its increase, and the trees of the land yield their fruit. So sure, Yahuwah sends the rain upon the just and the unjust, but he does it to a different result.